van Dayen. Yay! And welcome to my podcast, the Project Pal, number 47, I think. I think. Pretty certain. Anyway, don't know why it is, is why it is a thing that I need to remember the number. I mean, I'm gonna put the number in the title anyway, so... But yeah, there you go. Anyway, hello and welcome, my name is Skuldur. I'm an Icelander, I live in Iceland. Um, this is my podcast, the Project Pile, because I have projects and they are in piles. Uh, I generally talk about yarn, about knitting and crocheting, I talk about my <laughs> projects. Um, what I'm working on, what I finished, what I'm planning to do, what I'm dreaming about. And I also do tend to talk quite a bit about the weather because the weather affects everything that I do. It also really, really affects uploading time. Like I said before, and I will continue doing so. If there's a lot of rain, like it is right now, um, or you know, a lot of snow, my slow internet goes from about lower than meteor down to very 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 bad so yay um but yeah hello nice to see you um i'm recording this on sunday it's february the 14th so for anyone celebrating valentine's day um happy valentine's day anyone else happy sunday <laughs> um I mean, we don't really celebrate Valentine's Day in Iceland. I mean, it's a nice extra day. It's like an extra couple's day. Um, traditional days in Iceland, they celebrate... We have like Bondadar, which is the basically husband's day. Um, then we have... I'm trying to remember the exact name. Bondadar. I think it was originally named Freyadar or who's Freyadar? Um, I think, I think it's called nowadays Kornedaug, yeah, it's Kornedaug, and um, that's like wife's day, and then we have Ingisveina and Ingismeyata, which is a celebration of boys and then girls, like single women, and, or single men, not so much, but hey! That just means that every single other day is my day. So, yay! Valentine's Day is nice, extra. It's like couple's day. It's fine. Um, I'm actually more excited about tomorrow, m Monday. That's the um, Bolledau. That's when we have bun day. Um, meaning that we eat a lot of buns. Cream filled with chocolate and pudding or custard. Lolly lolly things. Um, Thursday, Tuesday, sorry, is Sprengidaur. That means, literally means exploding day. Um, means that you eat like salt meat and... Um, it's a type of root vegetable. Um, I have no idea what's called in English. <laughs> I need to find, figure that one out. But you have like that, and then you have like bean soup, and just and you eat until you can't. Basically, you stuff yourself beyond full, which is something that I don't do. I don't like feeling too full, so I haven't really done that for the past years. And also, it's very very bad for your stomach to fill it, even if it's just like only one time. Like it's not good for your stomach. It doesn't like it. And then Wednesday is as Wednesday. Um, Askula, usually that's the day when the children dress up and go from company to company and sing in return for getting candy or goodies. Um, obviously can't do that this year because of the pandemic, so it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, however, I am one of those people who refuse to like grow up. You know when I when you like. Basically, around the time when you turn into a teenager or older teenager and young adult and adult, you're not supposed to wear like costumes on Ash Wednesday, but I wasn't fond of it, so I decided to keep doing it. And then it turned out there's more people who don't like this age restriction thing and just decided to do the same. So now it's more. It's more common and a bit more acceptable that adults also wear costumes on Ash Wednesday, and I'm so happy for it. I'm yes, 
But yeah, so I'm excited for the next three days. I she says, I don't know what costume I'm going to wear on Wednesday. Like, I do have wigs, um, but I don't know what I'm going to go with. So I'm, 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 I'm a little stressed about that, but eh, it's fine. Um, so yeah, cream buns tomorrow, Wednesday. I'm really looking forward to the bean soup because it's my favorite. And Tuesday, I'm sorry, and Wednesday, finding a costume to wear to work because that's actually acceptable to wear and actually costume to work. I <laughs> love it. But... You know, enough of that. Um, let's talk about a little bit about like what I've been making. So I finally managed to finish the my latest shawl. Any this one that I made out of Jamesy breaths, um, Northern Lights cakes. Oh, so nice! I'm so happy to be done with. So I made this this and the pink one in the three and a half millimeter crochet hook. Um, usually when I've been making these shawls, I use like four or five millimeter, I can't remember quite which one. Uh, I think five millimeter crochet hook and a bit of a more like, not as fine, um, yarn. I'm really fond of using Aishan Fantasia to make these type of shawls and, oh, I just love it, but... With James C. Brett and Northern Lights cakes, I used two to get a more decent size shell. Like, there we go. Oh. I am more fond of shells that like, um, do wrap around you more properly. Like, I mean, it's it is nice to make like a kerchief or something that just goes over your shoulder sometimes because sometimes that just suits the clothes that you wear or the climate or you know whatever um, these shells I'm just really fond of making them a bit big so yay I like how it came out now you will have maybe notice the uh, there are, I haven't you know woven in the ends yet but that is so normal for me, like, doing the ends is... It's just not a priority. <laughs> like, I do have a growing pile of projects that I've technically finished, but I still haven't finished with this because I have to weave in the ends. Um, this is a bit sad because I really, really should finish them and, like, wear them and use them and stuff, but hey. So that has given me a bit more time to work on the knitting on the super simple shawl. Like, I am so linking this in the description box down below because this is such a simple pattern to pick up. Like, honestly, I put this uh, you know, to the side for like months. And as soon as I sat down and was like, oh, well, what do I do? What do I do? How do I do it? No problem. Put it up. No problem. I love it. Also the here yeah, yeah, here point protectors. The little pandas. I literally like this is how slow my mind goes. I literally just noticed the other day they are knitting socks. The little pandas are knitting. They're knitting socks. They're so adorable. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. I love them. But yeah. So I have managed to do a little bit this week, but it's like, you know, I am knitting on three and a half millimeter knitting needles and, you know, so it does go a little bit slower than, I mean, obviously when you're using fine yarn and fine knitting needles or crochet hooks, you're gonna go a little bit slower, but the fabric, the fabric, I love it. This is, I you know, I call this my wish shawl because this is yarn, the yarn, um, the yarn I'm using got over this, but I'm pretty certain you can get it like anywhere on any any Asian or Chinese um, website. Like you can get it. I've seen it on this. I've also seen a very similar looking like yarn with co similar colors um, under a different name. So maybe it's the same thing, but a different company name. Don't know. Um, seen this, I'm pretty sure you should be able to find it also on like 
Alibaba and some other web page, but if you can find this one, I really do recommend it. It's Smile Rainbow Light. Um, I mean, it does have some English in it, like first class weight 50 grams per ball, regains 180 meters standard of implementation. Uh, lots of numbers like regains that is such a cute word um uh, it does say on the label it's 100 percent import wool and it does have a i mean this is honestly one of the better labels because it has all the information like with the washing and drying and no bleaching and all that i love it um it doesn't have like information or suggestion for like the size of this new little crochet hook um, but you know it is rather on the finer side so three and a half millimeter I think is honestly a little on the bigger side like it's not like the um, tightest fabric but I, it's, I mean this way I like it better like if I made it too tight it would be like stiff and a little bit annoying but I want this to be a little, little of the um, Look at the fabric, it's so pretty. But the, I mean, you may notice a little bit of a problem. Um, my cable isn't long enough anymore. Like, I could, I mean, obviously, I can't like scrunch it up continuously, but um, I want, I do like having a long enough cable so I'm not like, um, so that my project isn't all like squished together. But um, I've been through my cable collection and I don't actually have that many um, longer cables or any at all that are you know free and available so that's the conundrum like am I gonna pick this up I'm wearing a white dress like no I'm not gonna pick it up out of the um, back so my infamous lumpkin blanket that I've been working on for way 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 too long um, it's heavy. The fabric, or you know, the yarn is, I love it, it's so cute, but it's really, really dusty. And the, 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 um, fibers, they really fly all over the place. So when I want to use it, I need to be able to, like, clean every single time. I also need to be wearing clothes that I, you know, are easy to clean. Like, maybe not a knitted dress, because, um, these fibers are just gonna stick to it. But I, I kind of need to s seriously get to working on the uh, blanket A to finish it because it's been on in my pile for way too long. Also B, I need the cable. I need the cable that I'm knitting the uh, blanket on for the shawl because I mean, yeah, I can always buy more cables, but currently I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to just, like, also finish this thing that's been my headache for way too long and having a driving need to finish it so I can finish it, do that thing, all that, those, you know, and get working on the um, wish show. So... That's an incentive, like, dear, yay. So, yeah. Really, really need to work on the blanket so I can get the cable. But also, another thing um, I've been thinking about. So, <laughs> another dusty yarn that I've, I've literally had in basket right by my bed. Um, this is the Knitcraft Get Your Fluff On in the grey. Um, I have a pattern somewhere in my pal. Patterns and pals, like, are you surprised? I have projects in pals, I have yarn in pals, I have patterns in pals. But I have a really lovely pattern in one of my magazines of a rather nice, uh, relatively simple, like, summer cardigan. Um, the original yarn is mohair, uh, I think. 
And this is not mohair. This is the label is coming apart. Why are you made it again? Uh, this is 44% acrylic wool. Acrylic wool. 44% <laughs> acrylic, 26% polyamide, 15% merino wool, and 15% alpaca. I think you can see it. Yeah. So this has been in my to make pile and to start on pile for I think two years. So. I want to start working on that also. I kind of want to have it finished before summer because I'm having something nice and light and just cardigan um, for the summer. I, I mean, and that's that color I think it would go really, really nicely with some of, the, some, like, some of my dresses that I have. Like my yellow dresses or something like that, and, you know, nice and fluffy. Also, a little bit of extra warmth in case that, um, you know, as long as summer isn't always the warmest. But yeah, hey, hey. But yeah, that is my plan. I have this mostly finished. Like I finished crocheting, and I just need to put away the ends because it takes so little time. But it's just one of those things. You're like, I don't want to do it, but you have to do it so that you can wear it. Um, kind of need to put this on a back burner and finish the blanket. So I can get the cable to really work on the the, the, the show. And honestly, I really start thinking about what other project I can start on. Um, I finished... I mean... Alright, so I'm thinking out loud. Um, I will finish the blanket. Hopefully before the end of May. Well, hmm. Hopefully before the end of March. March? March? What are you pronouncing this? March. Um, yeah. Try to finish blanket, work on the shawl. Oh, I, love the, I love the fabric of it. Like, look at it, so pretty. And this really nice and tight enough, so I really like it. And yeah, continue working on that. And then start working on like some of these summer clothes. I do know that I have quite a few of like the Loba Pesa, um, the chaos that is oh, the, 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 one of the the the, the um, woolen stretches that I want to work on is just it's chaos incarnate, and I'm really looking forward to it. But I need well, first of all, I need to be in the mood for it to make it. So there's that. Also, I need to find um, I need to find. 13 suitable buttons for that one. I also do have like two others that I do have a yarn for that I could start working on, but I'm kind of not in the mood for like that right now. Um, there's so much to make, like, I have so many ideas and do have like my project book, and oh, I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. But yeah, I think that's enough for me. Uh, this weekend, I just don't have anything else to say. Um, can I can continue working on something? Probably not on the blanket today because, as I said, I'm wearing a really, really nice um, knitted dress and a knitwear dress, whatever you want to call it. And I really don't want to get it like dirty with the fiber from the eyes. It's so soft though. Oh, I can't wait to get this blanket finished so I can wash it and. Get it clean and wrap myself up in this it's so cool um but i'm not gonna work on it today because i'm wearing a nice dress and i don't want to get it dirty um <laughs> what else um i'm probably gonna go out and find myself myself some buns to eat because that is literally one of my favorite days of the year is bottle dog because then we get buns and spring dog because then I get the bean soup and askadag because then I can go to work wearing a costume. Yay! But yeah, I generally, generally hope that you are having a wonderful February. Um, if you celebrate Valentine's Day, honestly, have fun. Otherwise, just happy life. <laughs> but yeah, on that note, I think that's enough for me rambling this week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye!